When we encounter tough times, let us not be so overwhelmed to the point where we feel hopeless and discouraged. Let us not run away from our problems, but instead run to Him. Let's run to Jesus Christ. Run to the one who has overcome the world, the one who is our refuge and strength, the one who tells us to call upon Him in the day of trouble, the one who rescues us, the one who heals all our wounds and diseases. Psalm 63 verse 8 says, My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. What a powerful verse. The psalmist says, My soul follows hard after you, God. How many of us can say that and truly mean it? An author by the name of Tommy Tenney wrote a book called The God Chasers in the late 90s. And in this book, he defines a God chaser as a person whose passion for God's presence presses him or her to chase the impossible in hopes that the uncatchable might catch him. Saints, you can chase God. You can run after him. But you and I could never catch God. Instead, he catches us. We're not holy enough to pursue a holy God and catch him. But he is merciful enough to look in our hearts. And when he sees the burning desire when he sees a holy passion, he reveals himself. This is why the Bible says in John 14, verse 21, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. The Bible is filled with examples of God's people praying through very difficult times in their lives. Hezekiah is one example. Isaiah prophesied that Hezekiah was going to die soon. He even asked him to prepare for his imminent death. Can you imagine how Hezekiah felt at that moment? Being told by a prophet that he was about to die. If he were to tear his clothes and put ashes on his head, nobody could even blame him. But what did he do instead? Isaiah 38 verse 2 says that Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed to the Lord. And you know what? The Lord heard Hezekiah's prayer. The Lord saw his tears and extended his life by another 15 years. Another similar example is Hannah, a woman who was barren. She desperately longed for a son to the point where she would weep continually and wouldn't eat for a long time. Even her husband noticed it and was very concerned for her. One day, in the bitterness of her soul, she went to the temple and prayed to the Lord, weeping in anguish. She brought her request to the Lord, pouring her heart out to him and asking him to grant her a male child, vowing that she would dedicate his whole life to serving the Lord. God heard her too and granted her petition, a son named Samuel who became one of the greatest prophets. The apostles had their fair share of sufferings and hardships too. In Acts 16, Paul and Silas were thrown into prison for preaching about Jesus. And guess what they did? They prayed and sang hymns to God while they were imprisoned. The prisoners heard them and the earth quaked underneath them, loosening their chains. All these events led to the prison guard and his family believing in Jesus and therefore finding salvation, as well as the apostles later being released from prison. What a testament to the power of prayer. So, if Hezekiah could pray after a death sentence, and Hannah dared to ask God to open her womb, and Paul and Silas praised God during their imprisonment after they had been beaten, what's stopping us from praying 
when we face difficult situations. All these people were pushed to pray because of the trials they went through and the obstacles they faced. Let us be encouraged to do the same. When you chase the Lord, when you love Him wholeheartedly, God will reveal Himself and He lets His presence become known. A God chaser doesn't ever catch God, but they catch a fire for God. They catch a burning desire to seek his face, to know his heart. It's a holy obsession. It's, it's almost an uncontrollable emotion. This is why David said, My soul follows hard after you, God. This is the David, who's described as a man after God's own heart. You see, he was a God chaser. And remember, saints, a God chaser is a person whose passion for God's presence presses him or her to chase the impossible in hopes that the uncatchable might catch him. A God chaser has a relentless attraction to the things of God. And so, my dear friends, I encourage you today to press on and chase Jesus Christ. Press on and run after God. Don't stop. Keep going every single day. Be a God chaser. Be a man or a woman who's after God's own heart. And I promise you, God will catch you. Isaiah 55 verse 6 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. All of us are seeking something. All of us are pursuing something. Some of us are pursuing the perfect career. Some of us are chasing the perfect opportunity in business. Others are pursuing a certain lifestyle, the house with a picket fence and the flashy cars in the driveway. We're all pursuing something. But where does God come in with all of this? In our pursuits for opportunities, for possessions, for titles. Do we have the room to chase after the Lord? I believe that the desperate pursuit that we as believers are to have is Jesus Christ. We ought to seek the Lord with a passion. We ought to seek him with fire.